What does a brother like you do on his birthday? <laughs> uh, that you can tell not me. Not what I used to do. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good start. <laughs> not what I used to do. I got you. Uh, I don't know. Right now, we're launching uh, Talent of God, our, uh, my first novel. So, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You yes. had a new title? Talent of God. Talent of God. Talent of God! <laughs> Which is kind of a, a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual, urban, supernatural thriller. Which is right up your fantasy, line. Fantasy, fantasy. So I didn't write a tell-all. I didn't write all of the secrets I know about Hollywood. We'll get to that later. Yes, we will. We're this real. is uh, yeah. an adventure story. Mm. And it's an adventure story about a young woman who's a doctor who doesn't know and realize that she's been chosen for a, uh, a celestial cause. And there's an ongoing war between the evil and the good, the fallen angels, and the heavenly host, and she's going to be caught in the middle of it. She's chosen to help oh, be the sword of truth, but she has to be trained. And so here comes Talon, oh. holy warrior. Ah, that sounds like it would be you. <laughs> yes. And it also sounds like a movie, and it also sounds like 2017. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Well, that's the amazing thing, some of the uh, similarities between what we wrote in fiction. And unfortunately, what is happening in real life, today. in fact, yeah. you know. We were welcoming into the studio a, a young man who co-authored this book with you, helped you kind of put it all together and find out all, all the fine-tuning of it. And it's, I want you to do the honors of introducing them to us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my co-writer and my friend and my, my, my brother on this spiritual journey. His name is Mr. Ray Norman. Pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have you here, my brother. Thank, 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 you. thank you for having me. So, so let's talk about this film real quick. I mean, this film. Well, I, did I speak that into existence? What is that, that's 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 that's, yeah, that's, that's the way called. it is. You know, we wrote the book with a cinematic feel to it. So, if there are cinema references and overtones, it's totally understandable. Well, brothers, it happens way, to me all the time. The way you just kind of overview everything, you know, in our last segment about telling of God, uh, it tells me. I mean, I can see the picture without you even without even reading the book in totality, of uh, where it's going. Uh, and like I said, it, it reflects, unfortunately, um, of today. Good, some evil. Some realities on the street. Some, a lot of the realities on the street. Mm -hmm. So how did you uh, help Brother Ray uh, put together this, this fantasy or this vision of... Well, I, I was actually introduced to uh, Brother Wesley through a good friend, a good mutual friend of ours. Mm -hmm. And I passed him on to, uh, to Wes a story that I was working on, a spiritual thriller. And uh, Wesley checked it out. He saw some potential in the story, like some of the concepts and the ideas. And uh, based on that, you know, he felt that uh, he could make some improvements. And so we just tried to uh, kind of bring our ideas together and come up with the Talent of God project and spent the better part of uh, two years working on the project together to come up with the, uh, the final version of the book. Wow. What, what, what inspired you to really want to do a book uh, this year? Which is great. I mean, because you've been, I, you know, we you have a flick coming out, as a matter of fact, aside from the one that comes out on Friday, mm -hmm. which we're going to talk about. Um, but you've done a lot of sci-fi stuff. As a matter of fact, if I had mm -hmm. to go a little bit further and say that you uh, probably was one of the first black men that we know that came out, you know, Blade, mm -hmm. uh, Marvel, mm -hmm. comics, and uh, now look what's coming from Marvel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Luke Cage. I and now, commission. Right, right. Somebody yeah, you owe me an extra money. bonus. Because <laughs> <laughs> the Blade trilogy was uh, phenomenal. Yeah, it kind of kicked things off. Um, yeah, But a book was, at this stage in the game, which is great. You know, you, sometimes the master calls you to do things that you're unprepared for and unaware of, and you just got to roll with it. I've learned to listen to the divine. I've learned to listen to the messages that come through the divine. Trust the instincts. And uh, at the same time, test my creative abilities. Where are the boundaries? What, what are the limitations of my creativity? I don't know. So I'm going to keep pushing. And so the book was another opportunity to explore that and express that. Ray, what do you want people to walk away once they read this book? Tell well, them I, I think one of the main things I want them to walk away with is kind of uh, a message that through faith uh, and, and uh, belief in the, the Most High, you can conquer any obstacle or, or trial or tribulation that, that comes your way. You don't have to walk in fear of evil. You can stand your ground and know that the, uh, the Most High has got your back. You know, that's sometimes a, a lesson learned in our life. You know, mm -hmm. if, if we're not spiritually aware or connected early on, mm -hmm. 
Mm. Unfortunately, we find it out mm. during our trials and tribulations of life. Mm. Uh, and having said that, I think it's 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 sa safe to say that you guys have definitely cracked on the same yoke. You see, and you're both spiritual brothers, mm. and you both understand the divine. Yes, and that's key. and have been through fires and been through trials and tribulations. And that's yeah. reflective, I'm sure, through the characters in this book. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. They, they, they both go through many uh, trials and tribulations through the fire and uh, become a hardened, seasoned spiritual warrior because of it. Talent of God, baby. This is uh, the first book from Brother Wesley Snipes. Uh, and, of course, Ray Norman is uh, his co-writer on this project, and I'm sure it's going to be a great read. I have just started reading it, and just as clearly as Wesley painted the picture for us uh, on this, uh, as we started tonight's show... Uh, that's how great and that's how clear it will be as you read every page on this book. So the book is available how? Everywhere, on every platform. Oh, Amazon, really? Barnes & Noble. Uh, you can get it digitally and uh, you website, can get the hard... Talent of God. Our website, talentofgod.com. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh. You can actually learn more about the book and read a little bit more about the story on our website as well, talentofgod.com. Ah, uh, is it an audio book as well? Yes, it, yes, it is. I don't know what role I'm Malik playing. Malik Yoba here. does the voice. Does, does he? Does the uh, yeah? Does the audio book for us? The, so I keep it in the family, you know. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. Why yeah, yard, why? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, I got, it. I got. It. See, I'm not Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're cool. You're still cool, man. But when you look back on the years of where you've been to where you are now, what would be the if there is such a phrase? What would be the ultimate uh, life changing uh, experience that you will never forget, that you hold on to dearly, that may have been passed down through mm. a mentor in, in this game, and that you can relate to your life today? Mm. Well, I've had a chance to study with some great masters. Yes, you have, yeah. Uh, here in New York, here in Chicago, um, Atlanta, California. Wow. Everything from diasporic African history to health and fitness with Dr. Sebi and wow. Dr. John Moore and all of these great teachers. My martial arts teachers have are numerous. Harlem, Kashinda, Moses Powell, mm -hmm. all of these kind of great men. Um, perseverance, big lesson, and maintaining faith, mm -hmm. being responsible because you were granted with a gift. And I think the biggest lesson came from one of my teachers, the great writer and poet, uh, Grandmaster Haki Mahabuti. He was one of my spiritual guides. <clears throat> he told me, asked me one day, he says, okay, brother, so you got the movie thing going on, and you're doing that, you're making money, you got the, you know, the ladies, uh, what's your legacy? Huh. And it stumped me. I didn't have an answer at the time. He says, well, look, you know, you think your legacy is just going to be making film and taking photographs and light, you know, flash bulbs and all of that? And he says, got to be something else. Should be something else. I said, well, I'm not building an institution. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> said, the building will last. The awards, yeah, they'll take those, you know. Right. But the right. building is going to stay. So I, that, that, that gem that he dropped on me changed the tra trajectory of my... Uh, Focus, and uh, it spawned Amin Ra Films, which was our first iteration wow. of a film production company. Now we have Mondi House Studios, which is a combination of film and television production as well as IT, um, um, application development, some of the innovative things we're doing in new theatrical platforms like with Barco Escape. We just dropped the first uh, feature film, short feature film in virtual reality. We're the one of the only ones who have done that. Uh, so literally in one month, I dropped a film in four different formats. That's great, man. Yeah. So we're bridging both the high tech with the uh, production and with the creativity. That is the result of that gem he dropped on me. The life changing experience. Yeah. We'll never leave you. Yeah. And you're also providing a platform for new upcoming um, actors. Well. Actors, producers. Uh, we're actually doing a new talent search for new action stars. And if you could imagine the voice 
and maybe uh, American Idol, mm. Project Greenlight, all rolled into one. We're going around the world searching out and seeking action talent that we could roll right into feature film and television projects that we do. By you being in the martial arts for so long, do you do most of your stunts? Most we, of them, yeah. With yeah. Blade, you did most of them. Correct. And choreographed, yeah. Oh, really? But I choreographed with a team. Got it. You know. Sure. Uh, I have certain sensibilities and I know what works well for me, but I also know how to get people's attention uh, in action. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a couple of guys who are some bad dudes, man. <laughs> bad <laughs> hey, look, look, dudes. Let him not shortchange you. Ooh. Wesley Snipes is a bad dude. Like, I would not want to bump into this brother. I I've think been, I could take him out on a dark side. I've been blessed, man. I've been blessed. And you've Great also teachers. kept a lot of people away from you, I'm sure. I don't have no problem. I can walk I, the streets by myself, man. <laughs> Any time I got night. love, man. I got love. It's a lot of love. I love Nobody's everybody. Not messing with you, love man. everybody. <laughs> Wait, can, can I ask you, am I being too forward if I ask you, to what degree are you right now? Uh, I hold rank in many different, a number of different systems. I hold eighth ranks in some, fifth in some, three in some. Uh, I was offered a promotion to my ninth degree to most recently. Um, and then, you know, I wear a white cord you know, to remind myself I'm still, you know, You're still, learning. still a neophyte. I yeah. got you, brother, but yeah. do not try him. <laughs> do not try this. Yeah, man, don't test. <laughs> Let what? no man test, but this job, God bless. You understand me? Let's, let's reflect on Spike, because, you know, a lot of us got... Uh, <laughs> the Grandmaster. Yeah, he is a Grandmaster, no question. The yeah. Professor. The Professor. The Professor. Um... Let's talk about the Spike days before uh, we get into that Michael Jackson moment. Because I was like, I was blown away when I was like, mm. is that, can we rewind that video, part of the video again? Mm. Michael Jackson, Wesley Snipes. But first, Spike. Uh, I'm honored, thankful that he's my friend, that I had a chance to work with such a creative force. Um, and that he invited me into the family. Mm. You know, Spike has produced more talented people in front of and behind the camera than any African American here, except for maybe Oscar Michelle, going back that far. Um, wow. And his his contribution is in, really uh, appreciated now, the way it will be in the future. There would be no Tyler Perry with it, without or the mm -hmm. Tyler Perry that we see now right. without the Spike. When you consider that many of the people that work with Tyler yeah. spawn their skills, learned the game under Spike's tutelage or in Got the it. camp, in the 40 Acres of Mew camp. So I'm always thankful for him. I don't understand why he does more films with Denzel and, and, and Sam. <laughs> and where's, where's they, Wesley? You know, what's the click, man? I You know, what's the click? I ain't, I ain't a Morehouse boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm okay. Hey, okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not a more house either, dude. You know so. what I'm saying? But we still love him. You know, yeah, I forgive him all the time about that. Whatever. I forgive you, man. I forgive you. <laughs> Spike, don't take it personal. We're just beating up on you today. That's all. And, and let's talk about that that bad video, man. Woo! Dude, I, I didn't know. That was you, crazy. It was. Yeah, I, that was crazy. And when you, you go back, if you don't know, you'll see Brother Wesley dancing in a little bit. No, you were doing it a lot of bit. <laughs> In bad. And and that was a quick cameo, but but you faced off with him. No, yeah. Well that whole that that project was uh directed by Martin Scorsese. It was produced by the great Q, Quincy Jones. And uh it was supposed to be a week's worth of work. Okay. I was on the set for a month and a half. What? Yeah, Michael <laughs> Michael created this short film. And a month and a half later, we, you know, I was still on set, <laughs> you know, learning from the master. And I can tell you, I had a chance to see him rehearse one of the big scenes we did in the uh, in the subway. And his rehearsals were like his performances at the le at that level. Really, very humbling for us, you know, young the theatrical thespians just graduating <laughs> from theatrical college. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's rehearsals yeah. were like performances. Really? So from that, I decided, okay, that's the game. Let's see if you can, let's see if you can uh, come up with an idea, envision a scene, and do it exactly the way you envisioned it. 
tone, timber, mm-hmm. timing. Just to keep the muscles sharp. It's like, you know, when you're, when you're training in the martial arts, you, you, you do the repetition so that you can hit that point, mark, move, technique without thinking about it. It becomes second nature. Mm-hmm. And that's what I wanted for, that's the challenge I set for myself as an actor. So when I go into a scene, I might have an idea what I want to do, but I want to execute right. exactly what, my, what I envisioned. I don't always get there, yeah. but I keep, you know, I keep struggling. I keep. Do you get a lot of creative up. freedom when you do these films? Now that you have, you know, developed a, a tremendous career for yourself. It depends. It depends on the project. It depends you on know. the director. Yeah, and action movies. You know, they're not. There are very few people who understand the action game, like uh, we do in my team. I do, um, and have the acting pedigree as well. The dramatic. Uh, technical sure. skills. So I get a lot of uh, respect for that. I understand how to write a play. I understand the tempo and pacing of a scene. I know how to make an action scene work well. I know how to tell you, to teach you how to act in an action scene. Wow. That's a lot of people can't do that. Yeah, right? yeah, you know, that's deep. They have a character... And they're performing, and as soon as you say, "Okay, now we're going to the fight sequence," they forget the character. You know, you just so, get into his own. Right, I get, <laughs> they, it. I get it. Like it's a real fight. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, you see crew and stuff. You know, teaming up, spreading the water. It's like, who you got? Who you got? <laughs> man, we all set, man. What are you talking about? This ain't no real fight. I get it, man. I get it. <laughs> Speaking of set, man, you you finish a, a wonderful production that is uh, going to be released this Friday, August fourth. Uh, mm. called Arm Response. Mm. You know, Lenny, I haven't seen the movie. So I don't know if it's good, and I don't know if is it's that, bad. Is that a, is that <laughs> I hope it's good. <laughs> well, I hope it's good, too. I sure hope it's you're good. you're all over it, so I hope it's good as well. You know, that's the crazy thing, man. You know, I went into this project as a, as a business uh, deal. We have a multi-picture deal with the WWE. They have a multi-picture deal with Gene Simmons from KISS. Who's also a... Well, he produced the movie. Right. This is this arm response. This is a uh, flagship Baby. Femi, uh, film. So I went in as an ensemble player. You know, do one for me, do one for them. You know, that kind of mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. And then, then one day I get an email and it's got my me my face and somebody else's arm on the gun, on the poster. No way. Yeah. That's somebody else's arm. It ain't my arm, man. I ain't got no hair on my arm. You see it. <laughs> We could have shaved it off, man. Nah. Thank God. Nah, no, it wasn't me, guy, brother. Hey. <laughs> it ain't my arm, baby. They could have nah. waxed it off, man. It could have been airbrushed. Look, they put it on there. Thank okay. God for Photoshop, huh? Uh, thank God. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know? Wow. So, uh, to be really honest, I hope the film is uh, is good. Wow, but, you know, okay. I, I don't know. So, Arm Response comes out this Friday, uh, and it's on demand. On demand. Um, I think it's a day and date in a couple of cities. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we got some WWE stars in it, and Anne Heck is in it. Oh, wow. And Hesh is, is in it. So now, but is that a ritual of yours after you finish a production? You do not watch the film, though? Or do you? I watch it once, maybe twice. And then after that, I'm done. Moving on. I already know the plot. <laughs> but don't I don't know what's going to happen. But hold on. But hold on. But don't you <laughs> kind of go back and kind of critique yourself? No, it's better to step away from it if you're going to do that, honestly. You know, you can watch it months later and say, hmm, that worked. But see, you know, the thing about film is it's a collaborative effort, unlike painting, unlike writing a book, mm. where you can do, you really can express your uh, own personal taste, interest. Um, film, you're depending on a lot of people, and there are a lot of layers um, that go into the final product. Yeah. A lot of voices, a lot of people. Actors rarely have the final say on how that film is going to turn out, even though we get credited with the win or the loss. But, man, there's a whole lot of people. I mean, the marketing team could have a completely different idea about the film than the producers. Uh, The producers could have a fight. You know, they got to go through a divorce, and next thing you know, all of your stuff is on the editing floor. You know, we started one movie, Tu Wong Fu, when we did that. That was a straight-up Comedy, spoofish comedy. I remember right? me, John Leguizamo, Patrick Swayze, <laughs> and then it was discovered that the directress she was pregnant. Oh, 
So as she progressed in her pregnancy, her vision of the movie began to change. <laughs> it became more and more serious. But the script was already serious. written, though, right? Hell with the script, man. Okay. okay. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. It's you. an interpretation of the words I on see, the page. I see. I see. Okay. You know, and this became about you know a, a cause, and we were we were these transvestites going to go into this small yeah, I corn that, husking yeah. town I, I remember this. and change everybody. Right. And she took it seriously. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. We, we were shocked. <laughs> well, y'all pulled it off, bro. Y'all pulled it off. Yeah, I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I had a lot of personality, but he I wasn't the best looking girl. His bad. <laughs> <laughs> had body, though. Yeah. My, my bag. Hey, babe, brother, but, brother. Whew, happy Earth Day to you. And uh, I, like I said, like we toasted, um, may this year bring you a wealth of good health, first and foremost, because yes, without sir. health, you have nothing. But more importantly, more vision. And, and that's going to definitely come because you are a visionary and you're spiritually connected in so many ways. And speaking of spiritually connected in so many ways, that brings me to the book. Uh, we got bring it bring back uh, Ray Norman. Ray Norman is his co-author and dear friend. So you know how crazy this brother can be at times. Oh, absolutely. I, I know you do. So we won't get, or do we get? No, we're not going to get any stories. We're not, we're not going to get no... Uh, <laughs> well, okay, all right, all right. Well, I, I won't press you too much on that. But wait for that book that you call right, author. The tell-all book. The tell-all book. Matter of fact, you need to take the lead on that. You got to put the kids to sleep first. <laughs> you know what I mean? got to put the kids I, to I sleep. I understand. I understand. So, Tell It of God, wonderful book that's wonderfully written. What's the most standout chapter for you in this book? I think there has a, there's a scene in the, in the hospital where uh, hundreds of people who've been infected by this chemical that causes people to become, uh, against their will, demonically possessed and change into uh, monstrosities. And uh, our hero, Talon and Lauren, are stuck in the hospital with them. Uh, it's completely surrounded. I won't give away what happens, but that's one of the most uh, exciting scenes in the book. Man, I can't wait to get to the film. Yeah, right. Woo! Like, it, like I said, it, it sounds like a, a dynamic film. So mm -hmm. I, I want to wish you both brothers uh, a wonderful success. Thank you so much. With this dynamic film that's in the making that hasn't even been thought and written yet. <laughs> but you, wrote a, you already wrote the backdrop, which is called the book. Right. So it won't be too hard to do the film, Telling of God. Bless it. We'll Bless see it. that in, I, I'm going to predict, uh, doing the math right now. I will say t no more than 2019. Right. Because yeah, so, you, you already right. got the backdrop. We got the book. Right. And I, I don't know if Wesley mentioned, but this is actually part one of a trilogy. So we've still got a whole lot of story to tell. There's got to be a role for Lenny Green. Got to be, <laughs> got to be a role. There has to be a radio oh, station yeah. in this world or oh, up yeah. in the heavens somewhere. Oh yeah, uh, I've been playing. Oh, that the would voice be kind of cool, actually, right? Huh? Right. That would be, yeah, yeah. The voice have of a radio God. station. We never think about radio stations in heaven. That's a good idea. You know, we have. Did I just? Plan yeah, yeah. Hey, that's seat, a good dude. idea, okay, baby. Right, well, watch a out. Radio station watch in out. heaven. Oh man. Now there's a lot of legends way before me, but hopefully. The helper of the legend comes along. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley, I can't, man, I can't thank you enough for, uh, for just being here with us tonight. And Ray Norman, thank you so much, man, for coming as well. Thank you so much for having me. And the book is Talent of God. They are traveling around the country uh, promoting this book. So please check where they are at because they're going. Are you, you, I hope social you media, you can check the uh, oh, social media perfect. to find all the locations that we'll be at. Oh, perfect. And uh, yeah. You know, if they want to call me, they can call me too. I'll tell you. Oh, the, don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't Visit do that. Our, our website, talentofgod.com. You can learn more about the story and uh, purchase copies of the books as well. Talentofgod.com. I definitely will remember that. Um, before I let you depart, Brother Wesley, I want you to impart some wisdom uh -oh. uh, upon uh, those who are eagerly mm -hmm. wanting to pursue their craft. Uh, it could be acting, it could be singing, it could be modeling, it could be a variety of different sources. What the words of wisdom, uh, wisdom could you pass on to those who are eagerly trying to break uh, the door down or crack the door open so they can just get an opportunity to be exposed? Because the, the, the industry, uh, this particular industry, whether it's radio or anything, you know, it's so hard to get in. It's mm. so hard <clears throat> to uh, reach mm. a certain person for your work to be seen. You could be very, very gifted. You could have a very, very yeah. good book, but if you don't have yeah. an outlet, if you don't have an opportunity to get it into the right hands or to be seen, it really is hard to start the process. And I do know that everything happens in spiritual time, in God's time, and, and that was perseverance and patience for me. Mm. Um, but what words of encouragement, because we 
constantly. I don't know about you, but getting into radio, I constantly, after a while, you know, you, you, you come across so many no's, you come across so many lack of opportunities, you almost need a reinforcement to kind of help you go to the next tier, to give you that extra surge of, mm. uh, of energy. So <clears throat> what could you impart? Mm. Stay steadfast. That's kind of cliche. A lot of people don't do that. They the people know what that is. To be consistent. To be consistent in spite of the pain, in spite of the rejection, in spite of the non-glamorous, the unglamorous activities that you have to do. That consistency, like cream, will rise to the top. Mm. You know, there's a African uh, saying: If I sit by the river long enough, I'll see the bodies of my enemies floating by. That consistency is there. You got to have that. And just know that, you know, the, the creator and the creator, the great mother and the great father gave you a gift. Mm. And there's a time on that clock for you. If you're persistent. If you're persistent. Persistent, consistent. Passion. Does passion have anything to do with success? Absolutely. Absolutely. You got to have passion for it because... Uh, that's the fuel that you need to get through the obstacles. Your passion will be there for you when your friends aren't, when you're being rejected, when you doubt yourself. You know, if you still have that passion to stick through it. Yeah. Well, brother, you still have the passion for it. And we see it on many different levels. Trying to be a master of life, Lenny Green. Aren't we all? Yes, student sir. of life. That's right. Even though it's not your arm <laughs> in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> on the poster we it ain't know, my arm man we know the rest of you <laughs> might be a good movie but it ain't my arm man will be definitely visible <laughs> in arm response which opens up in theaters and of course on demand this friday august 4th uh man have a wonderful week it's a pleasure have a wonderful thank journey. you for the beautiful music thank you for the beautiful Bye. evenings Lenny Bye. green hey, we appreciate you hey man i want to create you, more man. you know so you can listen to me in any part of the world that you're in you know how to find me and uh, i'll make sure that i'll play a special song right on, that hopefully right on. is for that moment right on right on you know music spoke for us when we couldn't speak sometimes teach that you know what teach i'm saying oh i like the way he's talking about the music and the <laughs> drum <laughs> be the drum man Unlock it. Unlock it so much. Yeah. This guy is amazing. <laughs> Wesley Snipes, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday. God bless you, brother.